the Fraunhofer Institute for Computer Graphics Research, a think tank solving one of the most challenging problems of our time. Preserving the common heritage of mankind. Artifacts from two million years spread over the globe and stored in thousands of museums. They contain information, codes, which are often still hidden from us. How do we make them visible and readable for researchers worldwide and for anyone who wants to study the past? We found the answer. Three D scanners create virtual reproductions. Artifacts become records readable for everyone, conveyable in seconds worldwide. We have revolutionized this process, accelerated it countless times. More objects scan safely in less time and in a fully automatic process. That's the formula for our innovation. 3D capturing at five minute intervals. How does that work? A QR code, the inventory number of each object is scanned. This creates the data structure. The first station is the Cult Arc 3D scanner. In the first minute, it takes around 160 images from above and below. A color calibrated 3D preview model is created three minutes later. The next object enters the pipeline, while missing data of the first object is captured by the second station, the Cult Arm 3D. The images from both stations are used to reconstruct the final color calibrated 3D model, a perfect digital replica in shape and color. Historians are dependent on circumstantial evidence. Written sources and artifacts act as witnesses of history. The reconstruction of the past is based on sources, remnants from two million years of human history, a jigsaw puzzle of the times, if you like. Most pieces, however, have gone missing. Thus, our picture of history is the sum of partial views. How fragile cultural heritage really is has been made apparent by several natural and man-made disasters. Especially recently, by the new dimension of terrorism, its systematic destruction of historical monuments and thus of historical identity. How can we secure and document valuable works of art for posterity? What if we succeeded in creating a virtual counterpart to this haptic historical world? The engineer behind this vision is Pedro Santos. Together with his team, he has realized Cult Lab 3D. Cultural heritage is endangered, be it through natural deterioration, be it through natural disasters, also by ourselves through mass tourism, and above all in our times, terrorism. So it is our obligation as humans to preserve cultural heritage for future generations to come. Cult Lab 3D is the first of its kind. It provides a conveyor belt solution for 3D scanning. The system is mobile, contact free, and designed for continuous operation with high throughput and precision. Till now, the complete high-resolution 3D reproduction of an object took hours, in some cases even days. Conventional systems surrendered to the needs of the present, but things are different now. Thanks to this project that you have done, we will be able, if, uh, when it is exploited fully, to have vast collections of our sculptures and our monuments and our treasures of all sorts, be it coins, be it uh, all sorts of, of artifacts in, in 3D models that we will be able to study, to enjoy and to look at through the Internet. So what we did in books, now we try to do it with 3D 
3D objects. We can, in our lifetime, see full digital collections and use them to educate both the, the 21st century kids who just by being able to learn through online education, etc., with the digitized artifacts, develop a bigger empathy, develop a bigger understanding about our achievements from the past and work on um, saving them, work on making this uh, world understand how to protect them. Preservation starts with education. We are able to make scans at one tenth or dividing the cost by 10 or by 20. I mean, that would be a huge achievement. And that is only the start. Ensuring that the uh, result is both economical, reliable, and appealing to the virtual visitor. So that is the first solution that I've seen that can do robotic, automated capture so that after, one after the other, the artifacts can be put on this belt and um, be, uh, be digitized so that we can have many more artifacts digitized in a day. So if we had digital replicas, the, the terrible bit is to lose the original. It's better sort of to have a really accurate, high-resolution replica of the thing for researchers of the next generation to study than to have it disappear completely. The industrial scanning of artifacts democratizes research. It enables researchers worldwide direct access. It provides the basis for a global community of experts able to concurrently work on the same object. It democratizes education because it allows ubiquitous access to virtual copies. Plus, the re-entry from the virtual to the real world is possible at all times, because 3D plotters transform 3D models into detailed replicas, incredibly close to the original in shape, color, surface texture and consistency. Printing in 3D is still costly, but this will change. In the near future, true replicas of artifacts and any kind of art objects will be available everywhere. Living history for schools, students, research. Without subjecting fragile originals to danger. Cult Lab 3D can boost historical research worldwide. Art historians, dendrochronologists, pathologists, researchers of all disciplines can work on the same object simultaneously. Cuneiforms are the first writing materials of mankind. Without digitizing these vast collections, the wealth of information of the oldest civilization from Mesopotamia will remain hidden forever. Original, there's just one. Take uniform tablets. A hundred thousand of them are in all sorts of archives and museums. And we are able to digitize them and make them concurrently available to researchers worldwide. Places of our history. Museums. There are more than 5,000 in Germany alone. The number of artifacts stored in museums worldwide is in the millions. However, visitors only see a fraction of them. 90% of museum artifacts are in their archives. So if you go to a museum, you will not even be able to see them all. So Cultlab 3D helps you to turn them into virtual models so you can explore them from wherever you are. Even schools can explore them from wherever they are and Caltech 3D lays the foundation to actually create the virtual museum. The virtual museum is always open. It communicates interactively and showcases objects which have been kept in the dark of the archives so far. The key is the automation of the scanning process. The key is Cult Lab 3D.